So I called him today and was like, yo, and he was like, hey. And I was like, I asked you a question three days ago in a text and he didn't respond. I was like, well, I've just, there's a lot going on on my side. I'm sorry, there's a lot going on on your side. In just 21 days, I had a car legally stolen. I was wrongfully arrested in my home, beaten up by the police. Then I had to find money to get a whole brand new car, threw my son a amazing birthday party, and then was struck by a truck or a van in traffic and my car totaled. There's a lot going on on your side. Me having a panic attack while being arrested in my home after not having committed a crime. Me in a full-blown panic attack caused them to beat me and say I was resisting when I was just asking to not damage my child. It's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but you know, it's fine because I played a long game. So we're gonna handle my little court case and if in a civil suit I can. I've been studying. When did this happen? October 5th, my grandmother's birthday. I'm so sorry it's all good. Um, I mean, it's not, but the way I continue to push forward and fight is I'd be like, eh, it could have been worse. <laughs> it's that a person would even have to do that. You know what I mean? Constantly like, eh, it could have been worse. It could have been, but it could have. And they said that too, several times. Like once, cause you know, during the booking process, if you're not a volunteer, they will treat you like a human, eventually. First, they're going to treat you like a human. You let them know that you understand they're doing a job, and then I kept telling them my main concern was my child. Now that I know my child's safe, I have no gripes. I, I mean, other than y'all got me sitting in this nasty police car in my underwear, I could catch dysentery, and staff, Lacagas, MRSA, and I'm barefoot, and it's cold. Then you just put me in a wet cell, but okay. I'm not gonna complain. I just would like to know um, what it is you intend to charge me with. At which point they're like, well, we're trying to figure it out. If you don't know the crime I committed, there may not have been a crime committed, babe. I, the fact that it took 12 officers and then they had to call a sergeant down to figure out what they could charge me with. And then I heard the sergeant say as they were reviewing the tape, so fun fact, when they arrested me, this girl had picked up my phone. This girl who brought the police to my house anyway on, under false pretenses. She picked up my phone because I was on live and she tried to film it and then did a backspin kick. That was when the cops realized that she wasn't actually resisting this whole time. This is the strongest. Because <laughs> when I tell you, I saw the officers. Because when I did it, I knew I was going to. I looked at him and was like, she shouldn't have my phone. And he like, he went his ego though so he proceeded to call back up the other cop came over now me up you know what i mean with my arm it's fine um later after hours you know what i mean we're sitting in the cop car and i was like you guys know that like they were cool like i was like you know the, the cuffs are actually really cool with me could we move them i'm clearly not a threat they're like no we'll take them off it's fine and i'm gonna get you some shoes and i was like all right cool and they're like we'll get you some pants but we can't get those until booking my thing is i don't want to parade through this men's jail in my panties though so y'all gonna have to figure that out okay long story short we start talking and they looked at me and they were like i one of them was like i get it i'm a parent i'm a new parent i was like yeah you don't get it yet I am a single parent raising a black boy and you pulled a gun on me in front of my black boy. I have to go home and explain to him everything that happened and then apologize greatly and the cold part is I didn't even do anything wrong. I'm gonna have to get counseling for him because he keeps bringing up that mommy was swatted just in casual conversation and I need not for my child to be desensitized to that. Do you get what I'm saying? He needs to understand what an injustice is and how to fight it appropriately and properly and how to maintain his staying alive in that moment. The cop looked me dead in my eyes and was like, it could have went so much worse. And I was like, I know. And he goes, no, you don't know. You don't know what that girl told us to get us there in the first place. They came to shoot me. Lunchtime because I happened to open the door with a weapon. As which is within my rights here in America. It wasn't a loaded gun. It was, they were pissed. They were freaked out because they're like 
just has a two foot machete in their home. I was like, I'm West Indian. Who doesn't have a two foot machete? What do you mean? I, my boy picked me up yesterday. He has a, he has a katana in his car. And he pulled it out to show me because I inspired him to get one. I got one under the bed. I got one in the closet. There's one on the couch. There might be one in that closet. They're everywhere. Yes, you're within two feet of a volatile weapon at all times in this house. Like spiders in California, I got weapons. I don't play. I'm on television. I'm a single mother and I live alone. And as secured as this building is, it clearly ain't insecure. And there's people in the building crazy so you know that's why you just need to bone up on your 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 laws know your rights and whatnot and be able to recall it in a moment's notice and even if you can't recall it in the moment do what what is being requested of you in the most peaceful fashion and try to keep your composure because the second you show emotion they write you off as crazy. They told my father that I was belligerently drunk. Now, mind you, there were people watching me on live. I had just made a cocktail, and I think I only took a couple sips. It hadn't even had time to kick in. It'd take about an hour for to really go through your whole bloodstream and fully into 45 minutes. You know what I mean? Regardless, though, nothing I did was belligerently drunk behavior until, now this is crazy, but in order to cope in the moment because I was panicking so hard and couldn't talk, I tried to knock myself out because I thought it would just be better if I just woke up in jail. Like, okay, now I can solve the crisis, but I just need to go to sleep because this is really traumatizing. Someone said they were watching that night. Was I belligerently drunk? Was I even intoxicated at all? Because we were having a really dope discussion about my belief on polyamory. I'm infamous for having more than one lover. Uh. I'm also celibate, though, so having a lover doesn't mean I'm just letting myself collect cervical dysplasia. Uh, it means that I am intimate in a way with more than one person. You know what I mean? Doesn't have to be sexual. One of them lives in London, one's in Maryland, one's in prison. <laughs> so, like, you know what I mean? Like, but I was just talking about my thoughts on that. Exactly. Everybody's saying no. I wasn't even drunk. But to cover their ass, they claimed that I pulled a weapon on the police, but they never announced themselves. There are plenty of people on the live who heard me ask three times who it is. I'm sorry. As a black person in America, you will never pretend you didn't hear the police say it's the police. And unless you are absolutely out of your mind, you're not pulling a weapon because that's suicide by cop. Uh -huh. Crazy I was. Even if I was drunk, I'm not gonna willingly die in front of my child. So he for the rest of his life. Come on now, don't do that. I'm too good a mom. You can't. Even, you can't even pretend that that's the case. You can't. You can see it in how well adjusted my kid is. How polite he is. Was he not taking care of you the whole time? Yes. Right, because I'm raising a real man. Yes. How many times approximately do you think he's asked you if you are a writer, if you need help? So many, I couldn't count, but he is like. Five-star. Thank you. I'm doing the best that I can. Even gin soaked. You, listen, you are awesome sauce. Thank you, baby. You are. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. you.